guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and I am the owner of Lanita's Aromas. So today, I'm sorry I look like this. It's been a rough day, but at the same time, I gotta get the content out if I want to be consistent. Um, anyway, so today's topic is gonna be some things I wish I knew um, before I started the candle business. Okay, so let's get started. One, how expensive it will be to start. Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't, I, I'm not saying I knew, it, I thought it would be like some cheap, easy stuff, like under $200, you know. I know it was going to be costly, but with the amount of testing and fragrances and wicks and vessels, uh, in my experience, I think... Um, between the um, almost year I've been doing this stuff, I have spent thousands of dollars. Okay, and I wasn't selling from jump. Obviously, I had to test, so very costly. Okay, I mean, obviously it's gonna cost money. I'm obviously it's not free. Obviously, you gotta test your product, but it's very costly don't think you're gonna get it you don't think your soul's gonna get away with spending 100 under 100 dollars okay because you got and also too you gotta do shopify or or your etsy um i think you should have a website so those have a cost too and if you run ads so you know that adds up real quick um two the testing process and this is like a two-parter so for testing Yes, very expensive because I was not getting it. Okay, let me tell you guys something. Um, I bought some cheap supplies off Amazon. Some random wax, some random wicks, and some random fragrance oil all off Amazon. Because, you know, your girl is being impatient. And I didn't do none of my research. I thought it could be like any wax, any wick, and any, any fragrance, you know, and... And it'll be it'll be um basically done by the end of the next day. No, wait. So I wasted a couple of days of my time on that because you know I wasn't fully thinking. Okay, let me tell you what I was doing. So I I was doing the double point method. I did not have an I did not have a thermometer. Okay, I wasn't even mixing it. Okay, literally as as um as soon as the wax melted I um sorry I literally just poured it into the little glass vessel I bought from Amazon you know that could have shattered but you know luckily it didn't and I just put a random wick in there you know then you know what the wick series was it's just you know random Amazon stuff you know and I was literally putting a fragrance in the uh, vessel with the wax already in it like and I was just like Take a little wood spoon or a little um, chopstick and just be like, okay. I'm, and I wasn't even measuring the, the fragrance oil, you know. And again, I have no thermometer. So I was like, okay, I want, to, I want it to smell so strong. So I'm at like half the bottle and, you know, I'm just like, okay, oh, fine. So I'm just like, I'll wait like till tomorrow for so it to be fully um, hard. No, no, okay. <laughs> Big mistake on my part, okay. So... Once I actually went to reputable um, supply vendors for candles, you know, and was doing more extensive research, okay, uh, it still wasn't easy because, yeah, I can go by what this YouTuber says, but when I'm doing it, I don't smell anything, okay? I have went through, um, like, three or four waxes before I found the one I'm assuming. me. And even then, I'm still looking for the perfect wax because I, I feel like the wax I have now, it's fine, but if I can find something better and as for me, then go for it. You know, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. But yes, testing, it's expensive. Also, it's extensive because like I said, it takes time, okay? Because you gotta wait for cure time. I didn't know about the cure time. I thought it can be ready by the end, the end of the next day, you know. But no, um, some waxes you can burn in three days, some in a week, some you got to be two weeks, okay? I'm a very impatient person, but at the same time, I gotta wait that long, I gotta wait that long. So, yeah. 
Um, and then also in love with testing fragrances. This again is a two-parter. Um, not all fragrances work with all waxes. Some fragrances just don't have a good hot throw. Okay, and I spent so much money and time wondering how come this fragrance is so strong at the bottle but not strong, right? Actually follow directions and put in the wax compared to this other scent. Okay, so that and then two, it also depends on on where you're getting your fragrance from. Like I said, these Amazon fragrance companies, I'm gonna just say from my experience, they are not worth it. They're they're not it. I would have to go to like Lone Star, or Hive and Honey. Or Honey High, whichever one you say it. Um, Candle Science, um, Northward Distributing, um, Midwest, you know, people like that. So, um, and then Wix. Okay. Again, the two part. It's like a like two parters. Wix. Um, not all Wix series work with all waxes. And then even if you find a Wix series that does work, you have to test the sizing because it depends on the diameter of your vessel and some say even the material of your vessel because I looked I found this out the other day on Facebook someone said if you have a black vessel since black holes in heat more he might even get smaller wick than if you would have gotten in another color vessel I don't know if it's true or not I don't have black vessels I have like pink iridescent but that could also be a factor too so wick testing um again so all of that so you can have the, the wax down you got the fragrance down but the wick in it you thinking you're not doing it right okay so that too um another thing is um a wax melter now many people do the double, double boy method and i probably should have stuck with that more in the beginning but um for me personally i wasn't confident in my measuring so i was feeling like oh i'm shifting it and it's gonna mess up so and i was thinking i was also thinking took time okay this is gonna blow up like i know i'm basically gonna blow up to the fact where using double boy method would not be so efficient for me and i and double up boy method to me is not like that efficient anyway but at the same time i could have held off on the um, Presto pot I use, but I don't regret it. But it it was expensive too. It was like eighty or ninety dollars off Amazon, and it's like a, it's all like a five quart thing, you know. Um, so that so if I couldn't look back on it, maybe I should still double double boil method a little bit more. But at the same time, I don't regret it. Um, but yeah. Um, what's another one before I'm forgetting? Um, oh, branding. Know what your business is going to look like or stand for or have an idea. Because I spent so much money. Like, okay, I got my vessels from AC. I uh, first wanted the black Aurora vessels, but then like, oh, I want the pink iridescent vessels. And you know what? It's it was actually a nice coincidence. I ordered the black Aurora vessels, but the Macy sent me the pink iridescent ones instead. And you know what? I got to keep the pink iridescent ones and they sent me out a 12 pack of the black Aurora ones for free. So I got 24 to the price of 12. Hey, and if you know, you know, Macy is a luxury brand that is not cheap. Okay. So, um, yeah. So with that being said, I was kind of switching back and forth. But I was like, oh, you know what? I really want the black, but now I'm looking at these pink iridescent vessels. I'm like, oh, you know. And then, you know what, honestly, as of now, I kind of still want to change how I look. So, have a more, people are looking at me, have a more defined brand identity of what you want to look like. Um, but me personally, I just have so many ideas. Um, hold on, guys, I gotta pull up. I just have so many ideas of like what I want to do and like 
what could what could be you know so um don't be like me don't be all the place it's nice that i have all these ideas but at the same time it costs you more money uh, <laughs> oh also too with fragrances have like a set amount you want to test like a set number you want to test because i went fragrance crazy and i was just in like 10 and i only have like five or six since launch actually and you know i actually buy way more i bought like 20 cents because like oh my god that sounds pretty that that's it, it's described so nicely um but you know what i could have saved more money in the long run if i would have stuck to like okay i have decided i'm going to test out just these scents i'm not going to keep buying other scents if i know these are working i'm going to focus on the scents i want the five or six and then mash for those and if i can myself then find other scents okay my problem was i i wasted some wasted but i spent so much money because i wanted to buy a bunch of scents because that's fun to me mixing scents that's fun but if i would have had a set number of how many scents i wanted to test to begin with i could have saved a lot more money so do not be like me don't mind someone who buys like three different scents because they you know they want to and they don't have a plan for it you know so stay to like under six you know and I, and that's if you're by yourself under six if you're testing because to me personally sex is a lot when you're first on it anyway i know people say oh we need to um add more scents clean for variety yes i get that at the same time i'm by myself and it costs more money and if, I, if I'm not scaling to that level, you know, I'm, you're just losing money. And yes, we're doing this for a hobby, but this is also a business. Okay, that's how I see it. Okay, so we talked about wicks, um, wax, testing, fragrance, branding. <laughs> um, that I just wish I would have been more prepared about all that. I mean, I knew, I mean, I knew what I wanted. I knew a vision I wanted in terms of looks and in terms of like what I wanted to do and how many scents like I carried away. And then, you know, the wax testing. I thought I was finding my perfect wax the first time, but you know, I went to like three or four waxes and I'm with a wax I can work with, but um, I haven't regret it, but I'm still looking for other waxes, you know? Um, Cause I, as of now, I use coconut apricot cream. It's not hard. But I want a stronger hot throw. And I know you can get that, but I want like Bath and Byworth's hot throw without the paraffin toxicity. You know? Um, even though people say paraffin is not toxic, but I don't know about that, honestly. Um, but if I can have a paraffin free candle with a strong hot throw, my candles are strong, but they're not like. Bath and Byron strong the way I want to, at least on not some or sense. Um, that's just me, my opinion. People say people say they are strong, so maybe it's just I'm used to it. Um, but yeah. So with that being said, this is all for this video. Um, as you can see, I'm filming in my car because I'm waiting for someone, and you know I'm like I got good content, in. and also I want to be more consistent. I have a goal on YouTube. Uh, as of making this video, I have like 39 subscribers. Um, see, I don't know if me saying my goal will um, mess it up. Because you know how they say when you make a wish, you don't tell no one. But you know what? If I tell, tell maybe you guys want to help me out. So my goal is to at least have 50 subscribers in two months. So May, so May 13th. So I'm asking for 11 subscribers. Okay, I know I'm. I know I know such a small goal, right? Okay, I know I'm not gonna get a thousand by tomorrow. I know that. Okay, the way with my growth is, I know. But I want to start small. Give me like a stepping stone. You know, if I can make it to 100 by the end of the year, that's something. Okay. Um, and then obviously the goal is to be monetized and to um, have a thousand subscribers to well, I watch our class and monetize on YouTube. Um, but as of now, if I get 50 subscribers by May 13th, 
I am fancy, you know, progress is progress, okay? I also, um, if I find customers to my YouTube channel, um, that's okay too. Or, you know what, you don't have to buy it from me. Just a like, share, and subscribe to a friend. Um, if you're a business owner, not, you don't need to be a candle business, but if you're a candle business owner or a breakup business owner or you're just a someone who has insight, let me know. You know, give me some comments. You know, tell me, tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you think I should do, you know, because my business ain't flourishing like I want to be, but that's okay because I'm going to keep trying, okay? I'm going to keep trying. Uh, people look like I'm so crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, um, but I'm sorry. Oh, they keep looking at me. Yeah, well, but, okay, I'm gonna let you guys, so now I'm rambling. Um, thank you for watching my channel. Um, comment some, comment, comment some ideas you want to see in future videos, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.